Hey, hey everybody, Z Garcia here, and today I'm going to be comparing the original version of Christmas Tree to the new printing of its second edition. As you can see, the two boxes are slightly different sizes, but really about the same, and the original one is a lot cartoonier, whereas the new one looks a bit more elegant. And that's something you're going to see replicated in the components as well where the new one is going to have something of a, of a more serious look, a slightly less uh, cartoony vibe, and the original one embraces that uh, look and design in pretty much all of its aspects. So let's go ahead and dig into these. Here we've got the original tree from the first one, a very simple geometric shape, uh, a little bit more vibrant of a look, and then over here we've got the new one, and as you can see, the shape is a little more reminiscent of a uh, of a tree itself, but it's a little more subdued, the look of everything, and again, a little more elegant. The main difference here is the way these pieces are put together. In the new one, you have three puzzle pieces that go together to make up your tree, and unfortunately, in almost every piece, these two corners here are just too sharp and don't have enough support, and they start getting dinged up pretty quickly, okay? So this one, for example, is quite frayed. This one, a little less so, but still has some damage showing there. Now the pieces do go together well, so that's a plus, all right? In the original one, however, the board is made up of only two pieces. They also feel like they're somewhat thicker cardboard. They are shiny, not matte like the new one, and it's only two pieces that go together. They fit together very well. You'll also see that the uh, illustration that denotes the trunk of the tree here looks very much realistic in this one and a little darker, more subdued in that one there. I personally would give the nod to the original version of this. It's just a cleaner look, it's a little more vibrant, and I just like the way these go together a little bit more. It's gonna hold up to more repeated plays than in the new format. Something that they changed from the original printing of the game to the new one is the way in which you keep score. In the original game, you had a score track and you would put a token on it to denote how many points you've gotten from round to round. Uh, in the new one, your score is going to be token based so you could keep it secret and it'll simply be a little more secret just by the very nature you might pile these up so no one's really keeping track of how many points you've got. These are nice and sturdy, but so is all of the cardboard in the original game. However, I have to give the nod here to the new one. Tokens just work a little bit better, and also this track commits one of the biggest score track sins, and that is that it winds back and forth. So as you can see, it starts down here, and then on the second line, we travel backwards, and then over again, and so on. I understand you're supposed to be following a string of light, but still, not ideal. I just don't like the snaking tracks. Uh, the tokens work very well, makes the game possibly even a little bit faster because no one's worried about what the scores are relative to the other players. So kudos to the new one for including tokens for that. And lastly, we've got here the playing cards. First edition, second edition, and right away, it'll be immediately apparent that the original cards just have a better finish on the cards themselves. They feel great, they have a nice quality linen finish on them, and the new ones feel a lot more papery, and while they're not necessarily thinner, they do show a little more wear on the cards, simply by the very nature of the finish on them. Uh, the uh, original ones, of course, have that very cartoony look. You can tell that right away in the gingerbread. So uh, this character over here being, you know, heavily outlined, a little sillier looking. The original one and the, the new one looks a lot more realistic, let's call it. We've got the uh, different decorations that are going to go on the tree itself. And again, very cartoony. The background being that vibrant green that meshes well with the board you'll be playing on. And then the lights on the sides of the cards I think just look a little bit better. They're slightly slightly larger, slightly better formed. Uh, in the new one, the illustrations are a little more 
classy perhaps. They're also a little bit fuzzier though. And then the lights, while certainly visible, are also uh, perhaps a bit more um, diffused in the way that they chose to assume these are lit. And so they look a little, they're a little harder to spot, you know. So there you go. Also, you'll find in the new one, the candies, which in this case, for example, this one's worth four victory points. It has four little snowflakes within it. We'll have all four of those dots, whereas in the original one, any candy you saw, like this one being worth four, just had the four and then a small snowflake printed next to it right there in the middle. This down here would be for the player count, which the new ones also have a little dot to denote that. All the other cards are going to be exactly the same. You have your goals over here of what it is you are trying to achieve. And again, same card quality, but a slightly different look. And the original ones you can see right here with a lot of the same uh, layout, just different illustrations. So there you go. Those are the components. When it comes to the cards, I have to say the new one, um, because of the card quality and because the background of the tree is a lot darker, uh, it just does not uh, live up to the original card. So definitely first edition here in my case, in my opinion, gets the, gets the nod from me. Really like the way these cards look, but also the way they hold up and the way they feel. They're slightly easier to shuffle as well, though this shape is certainly no easy task to give a good shuffle. So there you go. Those are a Christmas tree first edition and second edition. Let me know in the comments what you think, which one seems like, assuming you haven't played either, would be more to your liking. And make sure that you check out my review of the second edition here of the game if you want to know what I think of the play of it itself and just hear my thoughts on that. So that's going to be it for me, everybody. I'm Z Garcia. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com.